How's it going, Eliminators? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a very common issue that happens to a lot of Honda GX series engines. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So today in the shop, I have a grip right wheelbarrow compressor. Model number is GR55G10X and it is powered by a Honda GX160 series engine. Basically, this thing came into the shop in pretty rough condition. It wouldn't start at all. I checked the air filter, plug solid with a whole bunch of what looked to be like uh, cement dust, and the carburetor also needed to be cleaned. My customer said he wanted a full service on this. Now, if you wanna see a video on how I clean these carburetors, I'll link that in the top right of your screen. You can check that out. It's an older video, but it shows you how to clean a carburetor on pretty much any of these GX series engines. So we went ahead and changed the air filter, cleaned the carburetor, put a new spark plug in this thing, changed the oil, and also changed the compressor oil as well. And with that being said, if you guys do wanna see a video on how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble the pilot valve assembly, I'll link that video in the top right of the screen as well. This is going to be the mechanism that controls the throttle so that once the compressor fills the tanks, it kicks down the throttle of the engine to slow the output of the compressor. So as I mentioned, full service on this thing, pretty much ready to go, fresh fuel in the fuel tank, went to fire this thing up as it wouldn't start before. It fired up right away. However, no matter where you put the throttle linkage, it was only running at low RPM. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fix one of these very common problems on these GX series engines. So what I'll do is fire this engine up and let you guys hear what it sounds like, and then we'll go ahead and fix this issue. Okay. So you guys can hear that the engine only wants to run at low RPM. That was on choke. I took the choke off. The engine just won't throttle up. So as I had mentioned, we've pretty much ruled out everything else on this engine. Clean the carburetor, new air filter, cleaned the fuel tank out, fresh fuel, new spark plug. So why won't this engine throttle up? Well, today's video is going to be focusing on the spark plug cap. So once you pull this off of the spark plug, we can see that this is made by NGK, very reputable company. I use their spark plugs all the time and they do make high quality parts. However, these wheelbarrow compressors are used by roofers and they do take a beating. These guys pretty much run them until they just won't start anymore and then they bring them to me to fix them. And that was basically the same thing that happened with this one. And the roofers usually leave these things in the back of their trucks, they fire them up and then they run their airlines right from the compressor sitting in the bed of their truck. So as you could imagine, it's gonna rain. You know, this thing is out in the elements. These guys can work up to seven days a week sometimes in all kinds of different climate conditions. And these spark plug caps here end up getting too much resistance in them and it weakens the electrical current going from your coil to your spark plug. And that will cause the issue that you saw right there where the engine won't throttle up. And that's because the air fuel mixture that's going into the cylinder cannot be properly ignited. Now, removing these spark plugs is incredibly simple. They have these little uh, dust covers here. You can just go ahead and pretty much just peel them back. And then the spark plug cap has a screw in it. And that screw just screws into the high tension lead or commonly referred to as your spark plug wire. So we can just go ahead and twist this counterclockwise and this spark plug cap will unplug right there and then you guys can see the screw in there. So I'm gonna take this back to the workbench and we're gonna test it and I'm gonna show you guys how much more resistance this one has compared to a brand new one. Okay, so we're over here on the workbench and I have my old trusty Mastercraft multimeter here. And to test these spark plug caps, we are going to be testing around 15,000 ohms and under. Now on my multimeter, if we come to the ohms section, you guys can see that it goes from 200, 2000 and up to 20,000. So if you wanted to test something like a nine or 10,000 ohms of resistance, you wouldn't be able to do it on the 2000 setting. So what we're gonna do is come down and we're going to click this to the 20,000 ohms and we're gonna be testing under that. Now, in order to work with one hand and film with the other, I am once again using my retractable extension test leads that have little alligator clips on the end of it. So what I've done is I've hooked up the red alligator clip to my red positive 
on my multimeter. And then I've taken the other end and just hooked that up to the screw on the spark plug cap. We are then going to come down to the negative and we're going to press this in to where the spark plug would go. And you guys are going to see that testing on 20K, so that's under 20,000 ohms of resistance, we have a reading of 9.88. So that is going to be 9,888 ohms of resistance. So we have approximately 10,000 ohms of resistance on the OEM original NGK spark plug cap. And I have a brand new Stens replacement spark plug cap here. The part number for that is going to be a 135-226. You guys can see it replaces that Honda part number and it fits a variety of the GX series models anywhere from the GX120 up to the GX390. So coming back to the multimeter, we're going to be performing the exact same test on our new spark plug cap. Once again, I have my positive alligator clip hooked up to the threaded screw there and we're going to take the negative and press it in and you guys are going to see that we're now getting a reading of 4.92 4.91 now so we're still testing at 20k ohms so that means that we're getting a reading of 4910 ohms of resistance so that's going to be 5,000 ohms less than the OEM one. And right there is our problem. So by replacing the spark plug cap, we are going to solve our throttling issue. The engine just won't rev up as it should. And that's because of the extra resistance inside of the spark plug cap here, not allowing the current from the coil to pass on to the spark plug. So you're essentially getting a weak spark and your air fuel mixture is not being ignited properly. And as always, because your multimeter has a battery in it, don't forget to shut that off. So we have our new spark plug cap here. Installation is just as easy as removal. You're simply just going to twist it on in a clockwise rotation, tighten it up, and then we'll take the little weather protectant cap there and we'll pop that on. So with the new spark plug cap that has less resistance installed, I'll go ahead, take this thing outside, we'll fire it up and I'll let you guys hear how it sounds. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Like you saw, the before and after clips speaks for itself. Those spark plug caps, they end up getting too much resistance in them. As I said, it limits the current going to the spark plug. So you essentially get weak spark and poor air fuel ignition. And the result is your engine just simply won't throttle up. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week. Check channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.